zooming in a little. Okay, good. We're going to have some fun with vases tonight. I'm excited. All right, so there is a lot going on right now. I can't tell you guys all about it. Let me go ahead and get the stream pulled up so I can see y'all's comments. some fun. There it is. Okay. <laughs> hey Veronica. Hey Linda. Hey Dan. Hey Julia. Yeah. <laughs> so funny story. I grabbed these from the my uh, office, but um, I accidentally grabbed extra large instead of medium. I don't know how I did that. I literally was like, oh, there's the medium box and I grabbed it and this is what happened. <laughs> We'll make do. It's okay. All right. So I was asked to do um, acrylic pouring with my paints on vases. And we're going to do three tonight because it's been a minute since I've done vases. So I think these two, which aren't my favorite shape, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and do on one canvas. Hey, Mitch. Yes, we're live. And then this one I'll do on its own canvas. This is like my new favorite vase shape. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Lori. Okay. So let me grab the canvas. I'm going to do those two on a 10 by 20 canvas here. <laughs> and for anyone watching this on the replay I always say this now because it's gotten to be kind of annoying um, this is a live video the whole purpose of the live video is for me to chit chat with everybody so if you're not here if you just want a straight up tutorial this is not the video for you all right let me see math math so I'll need about 12 ounces or so for this. I have a 16 ounce cup here. I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. And let's go ahead and fill her up. Hey, Tina. Um, I'm gonna use, actually, maybe I should do warm versus cool. That could kind of be cool because it's gonna be on one canvas. So scratch that. I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to use two smaller cups. I'll go ahead and add this one to my leftover paint pile. Yeah, let's, I like doing the warm versus cool. All right. So we've got white there. I'll do a series of blues and greens over here. This is, whoopsies, hold on. Primary blue. Um, we've got turquoise. Mary, I feel like I've sent you the link for my split cups a few times, but you can find them currently either in my Etsy store or on my website, mixedmediagirl.com. I need to update all the links now on my YouTube. This is the pearl violet also, well, amethyst now. I just need to make new labels. Yeah, so guys, pretty much everything is now transferred over to mixedmediagirl.com into my store. A few of the bigger paintings I haven't yet, because I'm as I'm transferring everything over, I'm reviewing all the listings and the shipping and all that stuff, because on the new website, the shipping's included. So, okay. Uh, oh, we got teal and deep sea. I'm just doing little layers, little layers. I am definitely aware of the fact that I have like 15 blues, <laughs> but that's okay because I really like them. All right, that was Pacific Blue, Deep Sea, Teal. We got Everglade Green in there, Meadow Green. <laughs> that's a lot of colors. Um, let's go ahead and throw in some of this electric lime. Why not? Hey, Jerry. 
Carrie, your clock is done. It is going out in the mail tomorrow or Friday. I did the final resin layer. Yes, these are pre-mixed pouring paints. So these are in my shop. You don't need to mix them with anything. All right, there's my cool color cup. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put a dash of silver in there. Okay. And now let's go ahead and do warms. And I'll use black for this one. I know, right? I think you can never have too many blues. That's what I say. All right, black. And red, orange, yellow. I got lots of metallics too. Y'all probably know I love metallics. <laughs> no problem. Sorry, it took me so long. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go live next Wednesday, you guys. Oh, I already have a pink tulip open. It says pink tulip. Yay, Julia. Um, Cause next week, I don't remember what I'm allowed to tell you guys exactly, but I will be filming a TV show. <laughs> uh, here's some gold. So I don't know how I'm going to go live next week. If I will be able to, I don't think I will be able to. Um, I think I have, if I counted correctly, I believe I have 29 colors right now. And I get a little excited. Uh, and I did just come out with a couple new colors as well. This one is, truth be told, not one of my colors. It's an Arteza color that I mixed up. But it's a pretty pink that I want to use. Copper. Yeah, uh, 29 colors. That's a lot. And then uh, two new colors, which aren't available yet. They're just in a kit. Like I just came out with a coral color and then a gray. And then I have a couple more in the wings and so many exciting things. You can get the paints on my website, mixedmediagirl.com. That's so much easier to say than my Etsy store. And I'm going to throw a little royal purple in here. I think the royal purple could really go on either side, but it is a warmer purple. So there we go. All right. We've got warm and cool. Okay. Now never just set your vases on the canvas like this. You'll have no way to remove them. So I use cups to raise them up. <laughs> two pinks, I think. Oh uh, yeah, only two. If I had the hot pink, I'd be using that one, the electric pink, but I don't. These are mixed media girl paints. <laughs> Thanks, wings. All right, so we want to put these up on cups. I have these really old cups that I rotate. You just have to make sure you can grab the bottom. I'm going to tighten up the back of this canvas real quick because these vases are kind of heavy. And that will help. It's pretty tight, actually. But I think spraying the, I spray the back with water if it's at all loose and that just pulls the canvas very tight. <laughs> yes, you have encouraged me to join the pink side. All right, now I had an idea here, which I think I am going to go with. I keep accidentally turning on my cup turner. Okay. I was thinking, and tell me what you guys think, about trying a bottle bottom <laughs> on top of these vases. Maybe the smaller one. I have to find some more, though. I know you guys can't see that, so let me move it. Let me move it. I'll move it closer to me. And may have to adjust the camera a little bit. Oh, that didn't work at all. That was the wrong direction. <laughs> that's like, that's 10 times worse. You know, I don't get a lot of sleep these days. Do, do, do. do it. Okay. Let me see if I can find one more bottle bottom. I have them all over the place. 
just so I have two that are the same size. Come on, Marcy. Oh, there we go. I knew they were there. Okay, I think I'm going to go for the medium ones. No, small. The medium one just hangs over the side just a little bit, so I'm a little worried that that wouldn't quite work. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Hey, Tish. You may have to rotate them in order to get full coverage. That is a really good point. Okay. Well, let's start with the cool side. We'll see what happens. Um, these vases, too, they do have a little bit of a, a dip in that bottom. So we'll have to work around that a little bit. So let's go. With these small ones, they're adorable, but you do have to pour slowly. So. The medium and the large are definitely a lot easier, I will say. Okay. Rotating. Yeah, this may not be super practical, but you know, you never know until you try. Rotate again. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely making a cool design. Lots of green in there, but look how the colors are going to come out. And just remember when you do vases, whatever colors you put in the cup first, those will be the ones that ultimately end up on the vase. And the colors that you put in later will be the ones that end up on the canvas. <laughs> Thank you, Becky. Yeah, no, we're not supposed to be practical. And yes, Tina, it might have made more sense to put a solid coat of color first. But I think this is going to work. It just is going to take a little bit of patience. I may actually try that medium one on the second one. Okay. It's also hard to see the other side. <laughs> I'm going to use my uh, finger real quick to just fill in some spots and help it along. This side looks awesome. I can't tell how the other side looks. I'm obviously pouring it unevenly, unfortunately. So I got to get a little better at that. Because the back side looks super duper awesome. But look at this pattern. We wouldn't be getting that otherwise. So don't worry. I'm not ruining it at all. This is just going to help the paint flow. Okay, I'm going to try to pour more towards this direction. But that will help right there get that coverage the base it might also not be totally level so that may be part of the unevenness okay let's give it another rotation why not All right. And so if I can't go live next week, which I'm 99% sure I won't be able to, um, I think I will still try to at least um, pre-record like a premiere so I can do a premiere with you guys. Okay. That took forever. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead. I'm going to switch out this other one for the medium size. Let's see. I think that might go faster. A mm, couple more spots here to get. Okay. 
and let's go with the warm side. Hopefully this doesn't slide off because it's kind of just on that peak there. Um, Veronica, for whatever reason, I have not moved those over. That is a really good point and I'm glad you brought it up. Uh, the bottle bottoms are still in my Etsy store though. I'm trying to get everything done as much as possible, but there's so much going on that I can't even tell you guys about yet. That's like super duper 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 awesome stuff. So the next, I mean, the last few months have been crazy. The next couple months are going to be even crazier. So. Well, this is definitely not making the coverage easier. I think I'll just keep rotating it. Let's try that. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that green one would be gorgeous with the diamond dust. Um, these aren't muddy at all, actually. The colors are quite vibrant, I think. Definitely rotating this one more. Can't really see the back side. Hopefully we're getting decent coverage. <laughs> yeah, in the end, definitely tell me guys which one is your favorite, the warm or the cool colors. Oh, no. Okay, I gotta wipe my gloves off. Yeah, it would probably help because um, the paint likes to flow where there's already paint. You know what I mean? So, uh, Annabeth, I'm glad you asked. The album is officially done, you guys. Um, so now I just have the process of actually putting it up online. Um, and I'm running out of time. I had wanted... It was done with the recording like a couple weeks ago and then I went to Texas and stuff so um yeah I need to get that done and I'm really sorry you guys I mean I'm probably more excited than anybody and it's just been crazy yeah different patterns too because of the the bigger slots there this out here uh but long story short the album is done and i will be putting it up in the next few days to but it's like a pre-release because it takes time to get it up onto like itunes and all that stuff but for anyone who pre-ordered it you'll have it really soon man i really like these colors i feel like i might need to add just a little bit more to the warm sign it seemed like I put the same amount of paint in there, but maybe not. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I can't wait to see what the canvas looks like too. Um, and guys, feel free to super chat, super sticker, everything helps. That's, I think, one of the things holding up the album on my end, to be honest, is I haven't finished paying for it. <laughs> so my producer isn't using that to stop it or anything. But for me, I feel bad because I haven't finished paying for it quite yet. All right, let's go with a little bit more warm colors. Um, get some more metallics in there. I don't think I'll add more black. Purple looks great though.
All right. Thank you, Jerry. You're amazing. <laughs> cool. I think that's plenty. So these are large gloves. They're too big. I'm taking them off for now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Let me get everything out of the way before I start knocking things over. <sighs> yeah, there's more pink showing. So if you're ever doing a vase and you're not totally happy with it, feel free to add a little more to your cup and just go ahead and pour some more on it. So this uh, cool colored one has been dripping for a while. This may actually, uh, the fact that this was covering this bottom may actually help because now that paint can move and fill in that hole. All right, this, there's not a lot of room here, so I gotta be careful. Faith, uh, which paint are you talking about? I'm not totally sure what you're talking about. This is a canvas underneath here. So we're going to do that next. It's not, this is not runoff paint. This is two projects in one. So if that's what you're talking about, yes, we'll be using it in just a second. I'm just rotating this, make sure I got everything. Good. Yeah, this is three projects in one. And this bottom isn't covered at all. I think I'll leave that like that so it can kind of drip on it. And then we'll be careful. All right, here we go. These colors are gorgeous. You guys know that I really like blues, but that's, these are so pretty. All right, I gotta get these bases. <laughs> I'm gonna move them to the other side of the table before I knock my arm into them. And yeah, please guys, thumbs up. I already got two thumbs down from some awesome people. And feel free to super tot, super sticker. That's like a virtual tip jar, you know? No worries, Jan. So, everything helps, everything helps. <laughs> okay. Let's scooch things out of the way. Can you zoom in? Yeah, well I'm gonna adjust things a bit here anyways. I just gotta make sure not to bump into these guys. Okay. And yep, 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 yep. A little more this way. Okay, let me try to zoom in just a little bit, okay? I don't want to zoom in too much because then when I do the next vase, I'm going to have to zoom back out again to get the whole thing in there. All right, everybody, close your eyes. The zooming is a little bit finicky. Aha, not bad, not bad. You should be nervous about that blue face. <laughs> I'm taking some of this runoff and putting it on the bottom of this warm color base. There we go. Okay, here we go. That gave time for these holes to close up too, you guys. Thank you, D. Owen. You guys are so awesome. I feel like I don't often enough tell you all how much I appreciate you, but I really, really do. You are the entire reason I do everything. <laughs> Especially you guys, the like live video fan club. Wow, this is so interesting. 
Thank you, Jan. It's like gonna have a big reveal in just a second because you guys can't see most of it. Okay, there is one little dried gloopy here. Hmm. Okay. Bring the cool side back just a little bit. There we go. That's awesome. <laughs> right? Was not quite expecting that. The lines and everything on here are amazing. Uh, for another note, by the way, I have been, I've done this a couple times now. So I've got this brown paper under here. I don't often use that, but for videos, sometimes it, it helps. Um, but even these runoffs, I can literally just cut out a circle from the brown paper and glue that right into the jewelry with the paper as a backing. So. Okay. Let's go ahead. I'm going to hit these corners and then adjust this. That's so cool. Okay, I'm going to bring you in for a close-up. I'm going to shake for a second. Everybody, close your eyes. <laughs> it's already zoomed in, so I don't need to go too much of a close-up. But I just want to show you guys some of these details in here. Candace, that's a great question. I generally sell the vases and the canvases separately. Yeah, I think this is so cool. Yeah, it's the pattern. So we, we did like, if you see here, we got that um, bottle bottom. Like we did get the bottle bottom kind of pattern on here, which is so cool. <laughs> Hawaii 50 vibe on the blue side. Yeah. All right. Sorry for the shaky shake. Camera's going back. It's going to shake even more. Close your eyes. <laughs> uh oh, okay. Whoops. Sorry, guys. It disconnected for a second there. Okay. Is everyone back? It did a weird thing. All right, let me move this to safety. And then we're going to do one more vase. And on the last vase, I've already decided I'm going to do beach. I'm going to do beach colors. I'm in a beach mode. I had a beach class yesterday. It was awesome. So move this to safety. All right, on the next vase, I'm going to do an 11 by 14 canvas. Because that's literally like the last size that I have. <laughs> I need to restock. Sandy colors too? Yes. I will definitely keep doing the live auctions. And thank you, Jan. If your paint is starting to go gloopy and you don't have Floetrol, can you use water? In some cases, yeah. Um, if it gets, man, I wish I had bronze. If it gets to be too old, though, it just doesn't work. Flow draw or not. Uh, but yeah, you can add water. So much for the gloves, right? So 11 by 14 canvas. Aw, thanks, Michelle. <laughs> yes, I will definitely. Um, the painting takes about uh, a day to two days to dry. It depends. 
on the humidity and temperature and everything. Is anyone else getting the circle of death? I'm going to refresh real quick. Okay, good. <laughs> nope, just me. Okay. All right, so this is currently like my favorite vase shape. I went to a school right before Mother's Day and I did vases with the kids for their moms and they came out so awesome. We used this shape. Such a fun project. Okay. Now, ideally, you don't touch your vase after you clean it. I'm not going to stress too much. Okay. Let me move it more forward so you can see I am zoomed in yeah the kids man they love paint pouring and they loved it on the vases okay so I'll put up here for when we do the vase and then I'll move it back for when we do the canvas I'm going to put on gloves again I don't know why just for funsies and now I'm going to go ahead and use I'll use this cup that I put some white in earlier. All right, so I'm gonna go. Now, if you're doing a beach, so keep in mind, we've got the, the vase and the canvas and we wanna get both of them ideally kind of the same colors. So I'm going to do a lot of, um, I'm just gonna start with that white, a lot of layering, okay? A lot of little layers. So I'm gonna go with gold, which will basically be like my sand color. Ooh, I'm gonna use, doo -doo -doo. I wish I had a brown or a bronze. Very annoyed that I don't. I do have some of this brown. I think it's a little dark, but I'm gonna use just a smidge of it. It's a little dark in terms of sand color. That's okay. Yeah, bronze would be gorgeous. Now I'm going to put just a dash of white and just a dash more gold. Okay. I'm going to do real little layers here and I'm going to use a ton of blues. So we've got the turquoise. We've got primary blue. I do have this metallic blue that I mixed up yesterday that I'm going to use also. This is um, Artist Loft metallic blue because why not? And then we'll go with some of the darker colors, the Pacific blue, team rose gold. Okay, okay. I can put that in the next layer. We gotta get the teal in there, of course. And the deep sea. <clears throat> and then we're gonna go back through. So back to white. So gold, I do have rose gold, so we'll go ahead, why not? A little rose gold. And I guess I'll put just a dash more of that browns in there. Browns, I call it browns. <laughs> it's a mixture between brown and bronze. Uh, but it was just brown, it's not bronze. Brown, that's a new word. Okay, a uh, dash more white. And then back through the blues again. Turquoise. <laughs> Gotta get that metallic blue in there. Teal. Oh, this is a gorgeous cup. If anything, I did a really good job on the cup. Okay, that should be plenty. I was not paying very good attention as to how much paint I put in there. Eh. Drop a white in the end. Okay. <laughs> New color browns. Yeah, rose gold. I agree. Rose gold surprisingly goes with like everything. Surprisingly. All right, here we go. And I'm just going to do my normal pour on this. So a bit of a tree ring basically. Okay. 
I think it, either way, this is going to be gorgeous. I don't know if it's going to come out like a beach, but it'll definitely give some beach vibes and it will be gorgeous. That is all I know. There's that browns coming through. That's pretty. That is gorgeous. Okay, we're gonna let that run. I know, right? So exciting. Yeah, so when I do bases, I usually will let them run for a couple minutes. And then put them off to the side. They'll drip a little bit more. But we want, of course, most of the paint to go onto the canvas. Not onto our mat or whatever. So. <laughs> yeah, I like this already. Does anyone have any questions while it is running? And guys, if you have not yet, please, please, please check out my new store. Um, feel free to also go to my Etsy. There's a few things left on there and everything right now is on sale while I finish the transfer. It's so weird having only like 30 items up in my Etsy store. So the majority is definitely on my new website. And I sent this out to my newsletter list, but I will tell you guys too on my new website. Whoopsie. Oh, Veronica, you beat me to it. On my new website, you can um, use the code email for 10% off of everything. Jan, I don't, but that's a good idea. So Charlotte, you can actually resin this like this, like upside down on a cup. I don't prefer to do that because you'll have to sand off drips. So I usually um, sand, I will resin it on a cup turner. The website's mixedmediagirl.com. Here, I'm gonna post the link to the shop here, but mixedmediagirl.com, it's pretty simple. And I gotta go through and update all of my video descriptions. Yeah. So, can we share the coupon code? Say one live stream we haven't, sure. So the coupon code is email 10% off <laughs> for anything on my new website. Yay. All right. So you'll be able to tell when it's really slowed down dripping. You could leave it here for longer, but that's quite sufficient. This vase is stunning. I'm just saying. Put this over here. Yeah, I can't go wrong with blues and gold. And you can totally see that rose gold in there. So I like to let the hole fill up by itself. Otherwise that will affect your design. So I give it kind of just a, a minute to settle into there. And I said, I use the Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear to seal one and you got a lot of bubbles. No, that's not normal. I wonder you might have had a bad batch of paint or sometimes also maybe you didn't mix it well enough especially if it's cold or something, you might need to mix, like shake your, your, your can even more. Now, if anyone was in that, my beach class yesterday, that brown that I used was pretty chunky yesterday and it seems okay today. That browns, I'm just going to keep saying that. <laughs> Someone's going to come along in the video later and get all annoyed, but that's okay. Oh, this is so pretty. <laughs> I swear guys this job never gets old it just doesn't I'm hiring right now <laughs> so that I can just go back to doing this all day and not like shipping <laughs> so, uh, 
but hiring takes time. Veronica, you need to hurry up and come on over. That is awesome. Trippy, that is a great question. Question is how do we ship canvases? Um, Veronica can grab you a video on that. <laughs> I have uh, an entire playlist of videos on packing and shipping canvases on my The Business of Art YouTube channel. Okay, Noelle, uh, how long does it take for the paint to dry? So that depends on the temperature and humidity, but one to two days on, a, on the canvas and usually less than a day on the vase because it's a much thinner on the vase, it keeps moving. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and move the vase is over and then I will we'll do a close-up on all of these I'll show you the earlier vases I'm not going to show you the earlier canvas because I already put it away but I'll show you how much these guys have changed if I can move them without messing them up this one's a little stuck they get that wet paint suction I did not get perfect coverage on this one with the warm colors. I'm a little sad about that, but I still think it's gorgeous. So if I ever do try the bottle bottom technique on the vase again, I will do that idea of pre-painting it and then pour. That will definitely work better. Do paint pours require a hot gun? I'm not sure what you mean by hot gun exactly. I did not use anything other than what you saw here. I get a lot of bubbles on my cup turner base after it starts to dry. Any idea why? In the, in the paint itself, do you mean? Or in resin? In paint? No, that's not usual. It might not be bubbles, actually. It might just be it's not mixed in well enough. That's my guess. I seal the vases with resin and I don't know why the paint doesn't all fall to the bottom of the vase. I'm going to give that one to science and I prefer definitely resin over the spray. <laughs> I do have a video, Charlotte, on how to resin them. Veronica, if you're able to grab that, that'd be great. So Noelle, um, what I recommend is I have a playlist. It's called Getting Started with Acrylic Pouring. Um, so if you on my, you're on my channel, obviously, if you go to playlists, that has videos on everything: how to mix your paint, how to uh, the the products and tools you'll need, and basic techniques and things like that. So I would just go ahead and check that out. All right, I am going to go ahead and do a close up here on all four of these guys wiping my hands off real quick. So camera's gonna shake. I'm gonna go as smoothly as possible. So Noelle, at the top of any channel on YouTube, it says videos, playlists, um, community, about. Should do another vase class. Yeah, shipping the vases was so stressful for me though. All right. Nope, I'm not going to try to rotate that. <laughs> but that's so pretty. Here's the first two. You can tell how much they've changed there. But still some really awesome designs. Okay, and then this canvas, which I love. And definitely beach, beach vibes, right? So we do have that pattern in here though that gives us that. That look, yeah. <laughs> okay, you have a lot of questions, Noel. <laughs> so the canvas is okay with no base down first. Yep, totally fine. I ne almost never put bases down on my canvas unless the technique specifically 
qualifies for it, which is only like, yeah, no, it's great. Your questions are great. Great questions. Okay, so to wrap these up, um, I raise the canvases up to dry. I don't leave them flat like that or you'll have a total mess on the bottom. Um, the vases, I just leave exactly like this for a couple days. Those will dry. Noelle, I'm not sure I understand your question on what do I stand the vases on. Are, are you asking what they're on right now? They're on plastic cups, if that's your question. Um, so I leave these like this for a couple days. I will let everything dry for at least a week. The vases I say at least a week and then um, I'll seal them with resin. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Cool. Um, any last minute questions before I head out and grab some dinner? The canvas I put up on these. Um, I always forget what they're called. Painter's triangles, I guess. You get them at Home Depot, Lowe's, Amazon. Down in the description, <clears throat> I have a link to my Amazon store. So you can check out pretty much everything. Painter's pyramids, that's what they're called. Painter's pyramids. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. We'll see what happens next Wednesday. I'll keep you up to date in the loop. Uh, Chef Johnny's not in the kitchen. He is uh, actually out of town until Thursday. And so I'm on my own. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining me. You guys are the best. I will see you all next time. Have a great rest of your night.